all right this is yet another tutorial on um uh, php um e-commerce um website um i have um the admin the admin area which i have here as you can see today sales is um zero dollars total products is zero dollars and then today orders is uh zero sorry total um, products is two today's orders is zero and then total orders is um two uh, sorry one and then this is the order the latest order that we have and then recent products been added and then you can send a quick mail if you like and then we have our dashboard which we are currently viewing and we have our first profile which i have here as me being the administrator and i have a um, profile for myself where i can upload my picture change my password and then edit my name if possible so these are the things i can do right and then um, that is it so i go back to the dashboard and then I'm getting back to the dashboard and I'm back to the dashboard now I can add pages from um, my um, e-commerce website and I can check all the pages and I can add new pages the same thing I can add um, blogs the list of blogs add new blogs add categories and then if there are any comments I can view that and then testimonials too I can add testimonials and then the list of testimonial posted and other things and so forth then products adding products now i can add products if i click on all products then i have all the products i've added listed out for me to see so it's still loading it's taking some few time to load but i believe um it will be out yeah so um i have um all the products i've added here i have pillows and i have um monster beats by beat by dre headphones red and white and then you can see i'm um, the category type and then um and so far and so on so um we have the price of um the pillow and then the product is enabled to be viewed on um my e-commerce front page um we'll be seeing the front page very soon and then you can search for the products here and you can add a new product using the new the add new product button or i can add a new product here or we can use category or can also have tags we have attributes we have color the size and we also have comments for the um products to as well if somebody leaves a comment on the product then that takes us to our shipping method we have shipping methods here so i have some um, shipping option which is loading and then i have flat rate and i have free shipping and i have local delivery local delivery so if i click on enable shipping then that means it will enable this shipping when the person gets to um check out the um shipping types will be listed there and their prices and then for him to be selected but um that is it so we have here display um shipsings with what radio buttons or display them in what um, a drop down um option so that a person can select and drop down so whichever option you want is up to you to decide and then we come to payment method payment method will serve um, direct bank transfer cash on delivery paypal and then strip option any of them that you want if i also go to payment option then it also load and then ask whether to enable what the payment option or not and then the payment options that you want you can turn them on by yourself so you have enabled um, payment method and then it's checked that means that um, this will be shown but before that if i go to paypal if i want to, to um, enable paypal on the website i have to go to paypal and then turn it on so that it will be visible on my e-commerce front page if not if I don't turn it off, it won't be visible. So I have enabled what PayPal, and I can enter my PayPal details, and then I'm good to go with um, that on my website. And all payments can be done the same way with our strip and then cash delivery and bank transfer. So you enable them, and then you are good to go. Then manufacturers that supplies you goods, you can add all your manufacturers and other things. So when you're adding a product, then you guess what? Um, the manufacturing area then you should be able to select the manufacturer for that particular thing they have custom design elements too you can also add custom design elements as other things we have orders for the day and then when you click on orders then it will show you all the orders that you have for um, the day the month or the year and then we have orders here so then that takes us to report so we can also view report of um, our sales how many sales we have made per day and so forth and so on so these are all reports so we have uh, the gross sales by products title 
sales by month sales by the last seven days sales by custom date and then sales by payments method so all these ones are options that you can select then we'll have users then you can add users and rules and then and so forth and then there are profiles so if you have all users you go to all users all rules and you have an add user rule and then you can add what any user rule now when we go to add user rule let me just um, say something about that one something small not much on it all right it's loading yeah these are the rules so i can create a user maybe let's assume i want to have um uh, products entering users i can create this as a uh, product users and then i'll only turn on um this um adding products add and edit products alone and then they can delete products but they can add and edit products they can add categories they can add attributes they can add size and then they can also add products color and then tax and then that is all but they can delete a product once they have entered it after entering the product maybe i'll have to come and delete it or if you want to give them the opportunity to be able to delete um, that particular object you can do that by hitting this and then it turns it on and off so it's up to you to decide whichever way you want to allow them to do that so that is the rules for setting for a user then we also have coupons you can create coupons for um, your e-commerce website you know and then so if anybody is buying um, maybe your best customers you can give them coupons to enter coupons for a discount so I can have create a new coupon and then I can create a coupon for um, my customers so I give them the coupons and when they go to purchase items on my e-commerce site then they can enter or they have the opportunity to enter at the coupon information and then a discount will be given and that is how the discount goes so restriction at what amount should um, the coupon should be applied and what is the maximum the minimum and the maximum and then the rules and other things for these to happen so is this coupon meant for uses of the size of all administrators so i'll say it's meant for uses of the side so they can use it and then the it is visible and then the ending date of the coupon you can set the ending date how many days should the coupon last or what period should the coupon last and other things then we'll have the condition type whether is it going to be discount from the products or is it discount from a percentage from the products or discount from the total card or percentage discount from the total card it's up to you to decide then enter the amount of discount that you want to give the person and then the coupon name and then the content of the coupon and then you have created a coupon then your SEO yeah for your website is um, depending on what you put there will make your site very visible to search engines so you need to know the type of keywords that you are putting there and the type of description that you want that when search engines are searching for you these informations are displayed for people to see then if um, your clients request for products then you can also see um, those that they have requested for and then you can see if you can get those products for them and then you are good to go then subscriptions and other things people who subscribe to your um, to you that you can send them mailing list and other things and so forth and then we have um, more features here for comparing what products a user can add products to compare them they have settings for my site then i have um general settings and i have appearance so let's go to appearance which is the most important thing that i have to explain so it's still loading all right so um we are here so this my settings and then the price filter minimum is zero maximum is this if I want to enable CSS, I can hit on enable CSS. Then it will enable CSS for me to um, change color of um, is it um, the title, the sidebar, panel, whatever it is you want to do. So for now, I'll turn it off. And then I have my slider image. If we go to um, um, the main front page of um, the website, you see the slider image as well. And then we have what? So disable slider and enable slider. So currently it is enabled. So if I want I can click on it to disable it and also have enable and disable CSS if I also enable it it brings CSS that I can also um, change the color to a match whatever I want to do and then we have um home elements which we have what categories and music and other things that we can display so we have what a footer note and then about us you put your description here your Facebook and other things will take effect then we have our header 
So our header is here. We have the templates that we need for our uh, this thing e-commerce and currently this is a template i'm using you can see running template is what i'm using i'm not using the black i'm using the green so i have home page and then this is how the home page is supposed to run and then this is what i'm using to us uh, sorry this is what i'm using to as well for my home page then we have products and then on the products page this is how products are going to be displayed so you see that we are using this or we are using this so whichever way you want you sell it the single product this is how a single product is going to be viewed to as well and we'll move to blocks and this is how blocks will be displayed on um, my page so you select which type of block display that you want and this what the one i'm currently running so now um let's go back to pro uh, products and then we'll look at how to add a product and then the features and the ways you can add products and so forth and so on so it's loading um the products page and this um the form for adding products so example the title of the product which is um we have an example there so at red t-shirt and then we have description for product any description you put there they'll have the future um image which will have the product image and then we have gallery that is if you have more pictures for uh, that particular product you can add more pictures so that your customers can slide to see whether the front view the back view the top view of the product and so forth and so on and then we'll have um the shop banner if you want to give that product a banner then you can give it a banner by adding what a banner and then the product type we have general skew which you can enter a skew number if you have regular price you enter sales price you enter you can create a schedule date for the regular and sales price that it will expire they have role based pricing you can also enable and enter the prices to as well then we have what our product SEA SEO um, that you can enter and then you make these things very well because they are the things that can make your products pop up very well if anybody goes to search for a particular product relating to that particular name now most of these things is what will let search engines be able to search for you and then they get you very well so make sure that these things are the right information you provide on this page title the URL format and then the meta tags description and then the meta tags keywords and then other things so remember those words and then you can add more compare data to as well then product review and settings too so you can enable reviews for the products and so forth and so on and then if the product has a video that you want to add you can add either by using an embedded or what a, a youtube link that you can add or a video link from somewhere that you can add if you have one then we'll come back to um visibility whether that particular product should be visible on the website and we'll have what product categories and we'll have product tax and we'll have what product color and product size so this is some um, the administrator area of adding products and so forth and so on if i want to visit the website i can hit on visit store and it will take me to my store but i've already opened my store here so i moved to my store and this is the store as you are seeing it i have my wish list i have my account i have my card which is zero I have my home I have my shop by what categories I have my products I have um checkout card and then block area and this is my slide uh, this slider that I have for my block and then I have a banner here and these are my latest products and these are my best sales products and today's sales I have no um, product there and then I have what um featured products and recommended products to as well they are the same products I've selected for them um, so they can slide once they are more and the more it will keep on sliding as you are seeing it sliding here so but once um, I have not filled my my slide area that is why you have only the two items being displayed and then we have brand we have latest news and winter collection summer collection and then newsletters and other things and about us and then our social handles latest news our tags and then our descriptions at the bottom so now if i visit the product page remember the product page view if i visit my product page and then you have your product page view and then you can see how it will look like so it's still loading it's taking some time i don't know why my machine is slowing today like that so now this is some um, the product view and then as you can see how products are being viewed now this product um this pillow product has different colors so if i point on this it says select option because there are more colors to select from so i can do that if i want i can click on quick view and then quick view will bring a dialog box up so that um, 
I can look at um, the pillows and scroll through to see the colors that I have the colors that I have and then it keeps on rolling like that it keeps on rolling like that so you can see then select option when I hit on select option then it takes me to the option page where I can select um, each of the pillows that I want and then I place my order for the order to take effect on administrative area so here we have we have green small we have gray small we have red small we have cream small and then we have a black small so currently there are only small small um, pictures if they were large you would have seen green small green large green medium and so forth and so on but currently we have only small pillows so we have um, a small pillow here and I have a magnifier here that you can use to uh, go around the product to see how details about the product and then if you are okay with the product so I have uh, my product here then to see as well so that's it and the price for each of them is um $120 and then you can write a review or you can give a review and other things and so forth and so on so um we have featured um, informations we have shipping informations and review informations which are not yet been added but um when it's going live i can add all this information and then you are good to go now my your wish list is empty my account if i go to my account it's telling me that okay this is your account either you log in or sign up as what a new user because you have not been signing so I can sign in if I ha if I'm already a member I can log in and then do that if not I can click on that register as a new user or if I forget my password I can hit on forget password and a password link reset link will be sent to you to reset your password so I'll click on um, register as a new user and then the new registration form user will be displayed for me um, to see so that is the new registration form user but I have um I have an account I've created earlier on so I'll just go back to um, my login page to log in and then you see that particular account so I have um, a, an account here called um, Tina and then I have the password there which I can hit on login and then it will log me into my account and then I can see my account details how uh, my customer page um, looks like and then so forth and so on so now this is my customer page i have my customer here at tam stina who was a member since um Sif. and then um we have um information about Tams. today's order she hasn't made an order total order is one she has made a recent order so if i go to more info then it will display information about um her order for that so now let's have a look at it so this is what um she has ordered and the order is complete that means that she has received her order and then she's happy with the order if i can click view and then it will give me more details about um the product that she has ordered so this is um a php um framework um uh, e-commerce website not um wordpress it's fully php designed with php and then i urge you all to get a copy and then it's good if you think of moving your business online and then you can alter the code change css colors to suit you if you want and then if you can also alter more css to um, rebrand it replace things and other things it's up to you to decide how you want um, your um, e-commerce website to look like so well i'll take a note here and then i'll still remind you to hit the subscribe button like my videos leave comments on anything at all you want to learn and then i will get it back to you so thank you for the time and then to all um, my subscribers and then all my viewers around the world i say stay blessed and may the good lord bless us all and then keep on reminding and then keep on promoting the site for more channels sorry for more subscribers to come in and also learn something so i'll say goodbye for now